don't ask me about competitive. So I tried competitive one time. I was on a team that uh, the people who started it had already done competitive once before, and so they started us on an immediate intermediate level, but the rest of us, it was our first time. We had no idea what we were doing. We got just one guy who knew what we were doing trying to train us last second. So in the end, I dropped out because it, the competitive stress literally it literally gave me shingles. I was out of work for five weeks. Turns out I wasn't the only one that dropped out, so we never played any games at all. But man, that was stressful. So I'm just playing for fun now. <laughs> oh dear. Also, if you ever get the chance to get the shingles vaccine, do it. I supposedly could get it now since it's been over a year since I got that. But normally you have to be over 50. I mean, some people it's not so bad, but man, I had a pretty, pretty bad case of it. I would describe it as... As if I got beat up by some thugs, left in the sun for like the entire day, and then I spent the next five weeks feeling like I, I was completely beat up, and, and also sunburned at the same time. The weird thing is it's a problem with your nerves themselves, so moving around makes no difference. Different, different positions don't really have any effect whatsoever on the pain, it's kind of weird. Cells and stuff don't really make much difference either. Because it's nothing to do with the skin, even though there are visible singles with it too. You asked. <laughs> don't ask again. <laughs> Unless you want to hear that story again. <laughs> Alright, you didn't ask for that much information, I guess.